Welcome to our demonstration garden. I'm Rebecca McMahon with K-State Research and Extension. Today we're going to talk a little bit about ways that you can use cover crops in your home vegetable garden. Cover crops are becoming more popular in traditional farm settings, but many gardeners haven't considered using them in their vegetable garden yet. There are some great benefits to using cover crops in a home vegetable garden, just like there's benefits to using cover crops in a traditional farm field. Some of the benefits of cover crops for a home vegetable garden are things like adding organic matter to the soil, providing nutrients or holding nutrients in the soil. They can uh, attract pollinators when they get a little bit larger, especially some of our legumes or cover crops that have the potential to flower. Um, they can also suppress weeds and a whole host of other benefits. For more information on the benefits of cover crops, you can check out the Building Healthy Soil chapter in the Kansas Garden Guide, which is in the link below. Cover crops can be planted in your vegetable garden anytime that you have an open space. So maybe you planted potatoes in the early spring and then they're harvested in June. If you don't have a plan for that space, you can put a cover crop in and that's gonna help keep your soil in place, add nutrients and increase your soil health. For example, in this bed, uh, we won't be planting tomatoes until the first part of May. And so the cover crop is here to, again, help prevent erosion in this uh, raised bed so that the soil doesn't blow away. It helps suppress weeds and uh, add some nutrients and organic matter before our tomato crop is planted. There's a number of different types of cover crops that can be grown in a Kansas vegetable garden. Some cover crops are legumes, things like peas or hairy vetch that are going to fix nitrogen into your soil. Other types of cover crops are similar to our Kansas grain crops. So wheat, barley, uh, even rye could be used as a cover crop in a vegetable garden. They're not grown for the grain, they're actually cut and turned into the soil early in the spring before they ever set seed so that they can add organic matter to our soil. Yet other cover crops are plants that can grow in the middle of the summer, things like cow peas or southern peas, uh, sun hemp, things that do well in the heat of summer and will keep the soil covered during uh, that hot, dry period of the season. So how do you know what cover crop is right for the planting time that you're looking at? You can refer to the chart in the Kansas Garden Guide about uh, cover crops, and it tells you what seasons are the best options for each type of cover crop. Thanks for joining us today. If you're looking for more gardening tips, be sure to check out the Kansas Garden Guide in the link below. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out to your local extension office.